best example is my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. They, they couldn't stand me when they first met me because I had the mindset if you weren't helping me advance in the things that I was after, which is money, you know, power, success, um, I, I didn't pay any attention to you. I live in Roseville. I was driving down the street and I kept seeing folks that were lined up outside of the building on Fridays and Saturdays. Um, and I had a lot of time on my hands at that particular time, so I decided to uh, come in and see what it was all about. And I started volunteering. It started off one day a week, then two days a week, and it ended up being four days a week that I would come in and work in the food pantry. When I first volunteered for the Army, I had no idea of how many different programs we had, um, you know, how many different opportunities we have for individuals to receive help, both spiritual, uh, you know, physical, whether it's a meal, whether it's rental or utility assistance. So Tom is one that I think that, uh, that every Salvation Army wishes they had. He's a person that you look at him, you know his background, and you wonder why in the world is he working for us and not for some big company, which he had been doing. And um, you see it's just because he has this, this heart for the people and this care of, um, uh, for, for others that you don't always see in people. And what drove me to work here was I guess that I could help impact people on a, on a more regular basis and that I could learn the resources that we have within the Army and that I could utilize those resources and then build connections outside the Army and, and really maximize the amount of folks that I'm impacting and the lives that I'm impacting. Uh, a prime example is Johnny Castro. Um, you know, he's been homeless off and on for no, numerous years. He's had a, a drug addiction that we've helped him fight. And not only have we gotten him sober, but he's fallen back off, we've gotten him sober. But now he's a 4.0 honor roll student at Sierra College. He's been sober for three years now, and it's just been a relationship that we've built. If I ever needed help, or if I needed someone to, to talk to, to run an idea by, or to dis discuss my concerns or my worries, Tom's always been there. And, and, and that doesn't mean just mean here at Salvation Army, he's always been there for me to call him. He's never, and he's always answered my phone call. Or he'd get text if he couldn't talk at that time. He's always made time. And that's, you know, those are hard to find people like that. So on May 11th, I was diagnosed with a glioma brain tumor. Um, there's two different, well, there's multiple different types of tumors, but uh, there's basically two ways they grow, either outside of the brain or into the brain, and unfortunately mine is growing into the brain. Um, so I'm going to be having a uh, open cranial surgery on July 13th of this year, and they're hoping that they're able to eradicate as much of it as they can without having a lot of chemo and uh, radiation afterwards. So I returned to work uh, August 22nd, 2018. Oh, it feels awesome. No, it's, it's absolutely, I, I, missed, I missed it while I was gone, and the amount of support I got was incredible, so it just fed me for my desire to come back. It's the same old Tom each day, but with just this new outlook of, it, it, he's gonna live this day like it's the best day of his life. He's not gonna let uh, the cancer, he's not gonna let the, 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 the treatments, anything like that get in his way uh, of living life to its fullest. So you would think that I would say that the low was getting diagnosed with cancer and going through this process, but actually I think it's the high because at my point in life, it's, it's definitely shown me what's important, shown me who's important, and showed me where uh, I should give the most valuable thing, which is my time. I want people to look at him and see that um, that they, they can fight, that they can have a positive outlook on things too, that it doesn't have to be such a, a dreary life, but instead you can live, uh, live life to the fullest even when, when there's so much going on. I would say this, we're all individuals, so we have our own struggles, and what we go through is a personal thing. There's no uniform answer, solution, diagnosis, so you might say 100 people are gonna have this result. Well, I might have a different one. And so I just continue to fight my own fight and to live my own life and to be who I feel I should be. And the, you know, the, where I feel I should be is with the Salvation Army because it's continued to show me that they're there for me. And the, the people of them, just the leadership has been absolutely incredible and I'm humbled by it.